pandemic situation is getting a little bit worse in the Philippines right now. So yeah, we're all stuck at home. I wanted to make it up to my friends because we were planning to have fun at a mall. But obviously, things don't go according to plan sometimes. So this is the video where I can try to pretend that whoever you are, you are my bestie now. I'm oh, my hostage. You are my bestie now. And we're gonna celebrate my birthday together. Alright, uh, I'm 16 now. 16. Crazy. And a lot of things come with being 16, but... We're gonna ignore that for now. And what we're going to do is have some fun. So I made a list ooh, on my ooh. iPad. My very old iPad, I mean, look at that. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is um, my friends actually uh, drove by my house and they dropped off some gifts for me. And I already opened them, but I wanna like show you guys. You know what I mean? Put them in the, a bag right here. Obviously, I don't know, why did, why did I have to explain that? I'm going to show you some of the stuff that they got me. So first of all, um, I got a book. I don't know anything about you, but I love to read. It's called This Is How You Lose the Time War. Apparently it's about time travel and secret agencies and lesbians. I don't know. That's what she said that it was about. And um, I'm curious. I'd love to read that. So thank you very much to my friend. And with that book, she sent me some crochet things. So first thing is a... Oh god, I forgot what this is called. Uh, s s s oh. Give me a second. I'm so stupid. I swear I'm not, I'm not dumb. Oh, it's called. Right, okay. It's a salamander. Isn't it so cute? Um, I haven't figured out a name for this guy. I name all of my stuffed animals and crochet animals. Um with something, so I need to figure it out for that guy. I also have, uh, this is a white frog, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a white frog, okay? Also, I have a ball here, it's very squishy, um, so thank you very much, friend. We're gonna call her M. Thanks, M. And, oh, she got me a letter. I'm not gonna read it to you guys, but I need to just talk about this. I just wanna talk, I just wanna talk about how sweet this person is. And so cute because every time she sends a letter she'll only use like one page of a notebook and try to squeeze everything like four paragraphs into that page and once there's no more space she's not not going to use another page of her notebook look at that <laughs> it's so endearing because every time I get a letter I will know instantly that it's her because that's how she just writes stuff and my other friend got me this stuff in a box. It's from TBK and Co. I believe it's an online uh, business. So the first thing is um, this hair tie, and it's probably not special to you guys, but I really love uh, stuff like this. I have an entire place on my wall where I just put a bunch of hair ties, and I freaking love this. Even though I don't tie my hair often, I still keep them. I don't know why, but anyway, um, I don't know how to show this to you guys. I'm not a pro. Okay, wait, wait, okay. Oh, look at me. Look at me being a pro. There we go. Is it focusing? Probably not. It's probably not how you're supposed to do it. Whatever, you saw it. It's a it's a necklace with a butterfly on it. I love butterflies. I have a painting of a butterfly back there, which I, sh I can show you guys somewhere there. I love stickers. Um, I love to journal bullet journaling, stickers um, from local artists, and I just love it. So here's the first one, it says your mental health is important. It's true, your mental health is so very important. I also have a Pink Pocky uh, sticker, which is very funny because I actually have a Pink Pocky uh, sitting on my dining table downstairs. I also have a cassette tape that says self-love songs, which is honestly just... I love my friends. I also forgot to talk about this, but my friend got me a bag from Alabang Town Center and I love the style. So yeah, that's it. It's not really about the gifts. It's just that I'm very grateful that they took the time to think about what to give to me and gave me a bunch of these little things that are so special and dear to my heart. And it's like 
they knew exactly what to get me and I didn't even have to explain anything so thank you guys I love you so anyway let's um talk together while I paint my nails very a sleepover thing to do but I want to paint my nails I'm learning the guitar um, my guitar is on my bed actually right now and I had to cut my nails and they used to be really long but now they're just yeah because you know you gotta hit those chords I'm using holographic nail polish um, it's just a random brand I, I don't know chic whatever um, but I really like holographic nail polish because I grew up watching Simply Nail Logical. I haven't watched her in forever. Is that just me? Like, there are YouTubers that, you know. I mean, of course, it's not just me, but specifically, Simply Nail Logical, like, you become a holosexual and you love the rainbow and the sparkles, and then you just forget to watch her. Yeah, I should probably start watching her again. Because I stopped watching some of my, like, you know, childhood YouTubers. And then in the summer, I just came back to them and they're still funny. Like Jacksepticeye and um, Good Mythical Warning. They're really, um, they aged well. Like, when it comes to the show um, and their videos, it's just, wow. I want to be like that. I want my videos to age well. I mean, don't we all? Sorry, I'm not a professional. I'm just going to paint like this. So what's it feel like to be 16? For my friends that aren't 16 yet, or turning 16 in October and stuff, um, it feels horrible. Because <laughs> like you're not old enough to make your own decisions, truly. But you're also not young enough to just live as a child, unless your parents let you do that. But like that doesn't happen here. We grow up fast. I mean, I saw a bunch of people like like my age. They're already on TV, um, on like a gymnast competition or debuting in a group or something. And when you see that stuff, it's easy to be like, I'm ashamed of myself. I'm unmotivated. I'm not good enough because they're younger than me or the same age as me but I haven't done enough like them and I'm just here to say like don't compare yourself to other people everybody has their own pace in life so maybe someday you're going to you know reach the goals that you have been aiming for all your life and maybe that day is not gonna be like immediately Maybe it's gonna be a couple years from now and you're gonna watch everybody, you know, climb that mountain. They're up on the top, they're like, hey, it's great up here, and you're just like dying inside. <laughs> but hey, everybody, you know, um, time, time is, time is gold. And if you spend your time uh, hating yourself and being jealous of others, it's not going to be good for you, mentally, physically, whatever it is. And it might lead to some bad habits that will lead you away from your goals. So just try your best and um, look forward to your dreams. Okay? I finished it. I'm done. I didn't even bother like filing my nails because I lost my nail filer and I'm too lazy to find it again like where am I gonna find it this this room is like a maze I mean it's not a maze it's like really small but it's just full of stuff and I'm not gonna find my nail filer tonight nah -uh. maybe some other night okay so there they are they're shiny little stubs <laughs> what's next on our agenda for tonight okay so the next thing on the list is that we end the video on a positive note <laughs> Um, we're going to go on messenger and message a random person or a random group chat something nice and you should do this too at home if you want to if you don't want to like that's fine but...